Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we are gonna break down the top 13 tips and tricks for the most popular ride in all of Orlando. And no, I'm not talking about Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. I am talking about Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure over at Universal Orlando. So if you are in the process of planning a Universal Orlando trip, you're gonna to wanna to stick around until number one and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you grab this list of tips and tricks to make sure you're as prepared as possible for your next Universal Orlando trip. I'm really excited to get into this video, so let's go get started. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and for continuing to check out all of our videos here at The Park Prodigy. If you've been watching, you might already have a clue as to where I'm gonna go with number one of the best tip and trick to get onto Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. But then again, hey, you might not, I might surprise you. We never know, and that's why you're gonna have to stick around until the end. But to stick with the main topic, and that is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, which has been dazzling guests ever since June 2019, when it's made its debut over at Islands of Adventure Park, at Universal Orlando Resort. Now, this high thrill coaster takes you on an adventure through the Forbidden Forest with Hagrid as your guide to check out all of the Wizarding World's rarest creatures. You won't want to miss a second as you escape Devil's Snare, run into some Hagrid-like mishaps, and even spot a magical creature or two along this attraction. Now, this ride brings an experience unlike any other ride with incredible technology, and it truly is a perfect fit for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Hence why it remains one of the most popular rides in all of Orlando, and in my personal opinion, it is the best ride in all of Orlando at both Disney and Universal. Now, of course, with that high popularity comes the high demand, and of course, high wait times, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much why we wanted to break down the top 13 best tips and tricks for you to be as prepared as possible to go and tackle Hagrid's magical creatures. So let's go get started. We're gonna start with number 13 and work our way down. But number 13 is get ready for a magical time. As corny as that sounds, you will not want to miss it. There is no way for us to be able to prepare you for this attraction, which is truly, like we said, unlike any other experience at any theme park in the world. Now, Hagrid's Magical Creatures is filled with so many surprises, as well as a ride experience that is by far beyond anything other. You'll experience launches up to 50 miles per hour, backward motions, drops, and so much more. You will not want to miss it. And I'm telling you, if this is your first time, you are going to come off this ride and be like, oh my God, that was so cool and so much fun. I promise you, you will not want to skip this ride. Moving on to number 12, find all of the magical creatures hiding during your adventure. Now, this is perfect for the young witches and wizards that might be really, really excited for this ride as well. One of the favorite things that we like to do is look for all the hidden Easter eggs and the magical creatures found throughout the attraction. You can find the centaur, Fluffy the Three-Headed Dog, a Blast and a Scroot, a Baby Unicorn, and as many as 20 Cornish Pixies hiding throughout this ride experience. Number 11, don't forget about the lockers. Now, this is very similar to the Velocicoaster. Before you actually enter the queue, there is a short line for one of two of the locker stations over at Hagrid's. You are not allowed to bring any loose items onto this attraction, and you will be redirected over to those lockers if you have a bag, hats, glasses, pretty much anything that's loose and might be able to come out on the ride. Don't forget your park ticket as you will need it to open the lockers as well. Going over to number 10 and kind of getting into the fun stuff, pick the right motor cart seat. And you'll see what we're talking about is if this is your first time riding Hagrid's, we have to let you in on a little secret. There is a better seat when it comes to choosing between the bike or the sidecar. Choose the actual bike if you are able to, and that will pretty much give you the ultimate thrill and experience. Now, of course, on the flip side, if you're looking for more of a uh, mild thrill experience, go with the sidecar. Now, we feel that overall the theming of the ride is really, really cool. However, we do just feel like the bike makes for a better experience. And of course, for the kids, there's even a special perp button that might need to be pressed on that motorbike later on in the ride. Just a little tip and trick on top of the tip and trick. And don't forget, after you go on the first time, you can always go on a second time and switch it up. Over to number nine, and that is know if you can ride. Now, again, sticking with the young witches and wizards who are really, really excited to come to the Universal Orlando Resort, just be a little bit familiar with the minimum height requirements. Over for Hagrid's, it is gonna be 48 inches. And just you know, know that going in so you know you don't show up to the park and unfortunately maybe the, the kids are a little bit too short. You know, you just wanna know that going in so no one leaves disappointed. Moving on to number eight, and that is gonna be pay attention in the queue for hidden Easter eggs. Now, while Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey has 
the most exciting queue for Harry Potter details. Of course, there are still some amazing hidden Easter eggs over at Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And of course, some of the hidden Easter eggs that we like to keep an eye out for are gonna be Hagrid's Hut, some dragon eggs, the Forbidden Forest, some appearances from Hagrid himself, Arthur Weasley and Fang, and then a sneak preview of the ride throughout the queue to get you even more excited. Moving on to number seven, and that is gonna be make sure you're in the right Wizarding World. Now, of course, there are are two sections of the Wizarding World at Harry Potter and Hagrid's Magic Creatures Motorbike Adventure is going to be over at Islands of Adventure Park. The other side is Diagon Alley over at Universal Studios. You want to make sure to be at Islands of Adventure Park, Hogsmeade, and just to make sure you're at the right section to get onto this ride. Moving on to tip number six, and that is pick the right time to ride. Now, if you aren't an early riser and cannot rope drop or have early park admission, which we'll get into in a little bit, you could be waiting up to three hours for this attraction if you don't pick the right time to go. Now, during peak times, make sure to avoid the first couple of hours where wait times will be the highest. For this reason, we highly suggest planning around arriving early, like being in the park before it actually opens, which we'll get into into a little bit, or consider waiting until later in the evening when guests start to leave the park. And just another little tip, if the park closes at eight, you can actually get onto a line at 7.59 and they cannot kick you out. Just another great way to take advantage of some low wait times later at night. Number five, and speaking of the right time, is there ever not a right time for a butter beer? I don't think so. And that's why we kind of enjoy starting our mornings out with a butter beer, but specifically for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, you'll see no matter really when you show up, there's going to be a long line. Now, if you first show up for early park admission, when again, we'll get into it in a little bit, you'll see that the line might be stretched all the way outside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter into the Lost Continent, kind of near where the Hogwarts Express is. One of the tips that we love to take advantage of is you'll see that they sell butter beer for early park admission. So what we will typically do is we'll get online and you'll see the line will move fast, but one member of our party is going to go and they're going to grab a butter beer or two for the group. And another reason why we love to do this is as crazy as it sounds, the line for butter beer later on in the day can be pretty, pretty long. Um, this is an extremely popular treat. So we say, hey, get on the line, get someone to go grab a butter beer for breakfast, bring them back, join the rest of the group and go on your way. Officially, Universal might not like this tip and trick. However, it works and it's a great way to get kind of two, <laughs> what's, the, what's the saying? Two birds one stone, you'll get your butter beer, you'll get on Hagrid's Magic Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and you'll go on your way. Okay, over to number four, and that is know that there is no express pass for this ride. Now, unfortunately, like we said, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure has never been a part of the Universal Express Pass rides. You just know that going in. So again, if this is like the main thing that you're going to Universal for, you might not need the Express Pass at all because this ride is not gonna be included at all. Number three, and that is use the single rider line. Now, if you aren't able to get early park admission, or if you maybe you're just looking to go on to Hagrid's for round two to sit on the other side of the motorbike, the single rider line is always a great option and a great way to take advantage of lower wait times. Now, of course, you won't be able to sit with the rest of your group. However, you will see that it is a great way, like we said, just to save some time. Okay, so moving on to number two, and that is use a virtual queue if available. Now, during peak times at Universal Orlando, guests will often overlook that some of the most popular attractions offer a virtual queue. Now, this is essentially where guests can virtually request their spot in line through the Universal Orlando app, and they can have a shorter wait time by showing up during that period later on in the day. Now, these rides actually can only be accessed through the virtual queues at times, and which is why it's very important to know that going in and keep an eye if the virtual queue um, does pop up on the Universal Orlando app. It's important to also mention that typically we will see these virtual queues pop up about 20 minutes before um, you know regular park opening. So if you guys are in the park, let's say for early park admission, you know, it's gonna be about 20 minutes before the regular park opening. Um, so just keep an eye out for that, however, Speaking of early park admission, we like to kind of combine number two with number one. And number one on this list is use early park admission whenever possible. Now, of course, we can guarantee that no matter what and no matter when you are visiting Universal Orlando, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure is going to have a high wait time during normal park hours. And that's why we love early park admission because it's just a way to essentially make sure you are some of the first guests into the park. And if you do have your heart set on Hagrid's, and we will be real, the line for Hagrid's is going to be long no matter when you go, right? However, it's always typically longer um, during regular park 
hours. So we just say, hey, if you have your heart on this ride, use early park permission and just get it out of the way. You'll see during the busy times of year, you're probably still going to wait an hour to an hour and a half. However, again, like we said, it could fluctuate up to two and a half, three hours during those busy times of year later on in the afternoon. So you're still saving time there. And what we have found is when you go and you use early park admission during the low season, which is the off peak time of year, you can get on this ride within like an, a half hour to 45 minutes, which is amazing. And typically what we'll find is you can really get onto two of the most popular rides if you go during that time of year, which is really Hagrid's and the Velocicoaster easily within the first hour and a half, which is again, huge time saver. When you think about you know that compared to waiting an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours later on in the day for each ride, it's a no brainer why we love early park admission so much, why we think it's such a game changer. And the other cool thing, like I said, combined two and one is if you show up for early park admission and you get on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and then 20 minutes before park opening, like we said, you see the virtual queue pop up, you can join the virtual queue. You can join the virtual queue twice. However, you can ride Hagrid's with early park admission and join the virtual queue and get on the ride twice with very little low wait times. And that's why we love to combine two and one. It obviously seems like it is a no brainer. And for everyone wondering how you get early park admission, all the Universal Orlando theme park tickets that we sell at theparkbridge.com do come with early park admission absolutely free. And that's the list. That is tip and trick number 13 down to number one. I hope you guys learned something a little bit new from this video. I hope you're just as excited as we are about this ride because it really is. I can't put into words how amazing this ride is. I can't put into words how much I recommend this ride for your next Universal Orlando trip. And speaking of Universal Orlando trips, if you are in the process of planning a trip to Universal and you do need a little additional help, be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. We do have a bunch of free vacation planning tools. We are getting ready to release a brand new park planning tool to help you plan your days in the park, to help you combine the early park admission like we just discussed, to figure out the best game plan to tackle Hagrid's of Lost the Coast there, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Essentially, the new tool is gonna pretty much tell you all of the projected wait times, come up with the best game plan for you so you don't have to worry about doing that. I think that's all the time we have for today. I really had a lot of fun doing this video. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.